How's it going today, everybody? Welcome to the Daily Random Vlog. Random Andrew here. We're outside doing cold, fun stuff today. Got somebody on the channel today that you guys haven't seen in a while. And I'm not sure what he's doing. <laughs> we got a junior. I'm not sure if the vlog's ever met you before, but uh, yeah. Junior and Chewy have known each other for a few years now, right? Yeah. And he got into RCing because of him? No. No? He had nitro before. Oh, yeah, you were a nitro guy. Yeah. And you came over to the dark side. Yeah, I did. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, before they get all covered in snow, and yeah, this ice already had a giant Wookiee bouncing on it, so I'm pretty sure it's safe for us. You've already got some upgrades and everything. This is a stampede. Ooh, those are some nice upgrades. That's all the, the rigid integer. Beauty. And is it running the Valenian? Yeah. Are you running 3S today? Of course, you guys remember Chewy's squirrel. All right, let her rip, Sater Chip. Oh, hell yeah, the boom, I can't wait. between the two wheel and the four wheel. Having focus issues. There we go. All right, I'm gonna set this up and try and get some of action going. Hey, see, you guys got the brushless speed. Good flyby. I'll come right out here. Oh. 
trying to make a run out and come straight in. The water pushed up through a bit and refroze. <laughs> Over. Oh. So all of our digits are now frozen. We're hearing some kind of crunching or cracking going on from the ice over here. And I think batteries are pretty much done anyway, so. It was fun, but we're froze on. What's that? No, that crack was right beside us. <laughs> See if the vibrations are picked up through the ice. It's a GoPro on his scoop. Jump around out there a little bit. See if you can't get that crunching going on. I don't know, it was just, it was completely random. Yeah. There's still a couple out there. Yeah, and look at the snow close up. Don't trip, no conspiracy or nothing, but it does kind of look like fibers, doesn't it? Like fiberglass. Always so much fun to go out and do that. Not really trailing, not really bashing, just ice running, I suppose. Uh, having fun getting those high speed drifts going, donuts, so just spinning tires, mayhem. No parts were broken. Nobody fell through the ice and lots of fun was had. So good stuff. Thanks Junior and Chewy for including me on that little iceborne adventure. 
The only other thing, this is one big downfall though, about all this winter are seeing, especially the snow, uh, the ice runs, the ice, you're spinning your tires so much, higher RPMs, batteries don't last near as long, and I suppose it's not really any harder, because if the tires are spinning free, it's not like they're under a heavy extra load, like climbing hills and stuff. I don't know, that's debatable. The, the big thing though, batteries not lasting long enough in the RCs ever. They never last long enough in RCs. You could have a 10,000 milliamp hour battery and I feel it still would not be enough. But the camera equipment for recording the mayhem and having a lot of fun, you get out there in the cold and the freshly charged battery, I guess maybe if I started keeping them, like keep an extra one on the inside pocket and then who knows, maybe it'll help, maybe it won't. Uh, keep it warm when it's not in use, that way the cold can't suck the life out of it. Because there was more things I wanted to record out there, but the battery life, it just wasn't any good. As for the action camera, the Activion, the first person view kind of footage, I wanted to record a bit more of that. But again, battery life shortage. And the camera footage, I'll show you a little clip of what I did recording. Camera's just all over the place. And there you have it. You can kind of understand that was some of the smoother stuff that I pinched out of all that footage. And uh, it was rough. It was really rough. But getting out, getting the fresh air, getting out in the cold, I came home, I started reviewing the footage and my eyes are so heavy right now. I feel like I just want to lay down on the couch and pass out for a few hours. But I'm also at the same time fighting so hard to stay awake, to stay with it, to stay alive until at least 10 o'clock tonight. It's only maybe 7 o'clock right now and I feel like I'm the walking dead. Like I'm just asleep standing here talking, sleep talking, sleep vlogging. So yeah, uh, I might just go for a little bit of a walk, see if the cold helps me wake, wake me up a little bit more because if I have a nap then I'm going to be awake till 3 4 in the morning again. And I'm really, really trying to get on a proper sleep cycle again. It happens. Okay, one more quick little thing to show you guys. Now that we're, I'm in the warm temperatures, I'm still trying to stay awake, but I think I'm losing that battle. So let's get this filmed before I'm asleep. I can't very well film it when I'm asleep. You guys know the deadbolt, the mighty deadbolt. Stay. Thank you. I had a suggestion from Mr. Sam Waters, and when I get suggestions from Sam, I take them serious, you know, like, this guy knows his work. I may have like 15, 16 years on him in age, but I tell you, for his age, he's a wise man. Now, what the suggestion was, was to get rid of the wishbone shaped link 
that I had in the front here. And you can barely even see in that, so let me get some light. Okay, if you look where the upper suspension links, so the ones that are still plastic, if I had a free hand to point this out to you, I would. And then you notice, they are actually just straight links hooked up to that spot right on top of the axle. Kind of get in here with both the light and the phone, or the, the phone as light and the camera, but oh, I'm just having a heck of a time with it. So then you look where the servo, right underneath that servo, let's go this way. You see that bar sitting right on top of the axle there. Hang on a second. Can I do this? Oh, please let me do this. Okay, so this bar right here that my fingertip is on, both sides, this one over here. You install that, take off the piece that's there, and it allows you to mount two straight links rather than. Oh, geez, I don't have enough hands for this stuff. So it allows you to mount two straight swaling. Uh, instead of this guy. So normally he would be attached in there and on the obviously the other side of those lower links and attach up above the axle. So the biggest reason that I was asking about what I can do to change that is at the top of that, okay, the top of this Y piece, you put a screw through there that has a little grommet piece that's supposed to sit inside its mount on top of the axle in there. So that kept getting some play in it which caused the axle to kind of rotate forward and back a little. It's really hard to explain but long story short I swapped that for those. So instead of a three link or it is a three link now something that forgive me for not knowing the proper names but just know that swapping it out taking that out and putting two of those in makes a difference. I don't have any of that same play that I had before in this upper axle, it's solid. Side to side, no more twist forward and back, you know, like with the pop forward rotate because that touch of it there, but I mean, hardly anything. This is a solid truck. Actually, one of my viewers was asking the other day, which did I prefer more, or which truck do I like more, was my, or the Axio SCX-10 Deadbolt, or the new 10.2 dead, or not dead bull, uh, Jeep that came out. And I honestly, I can't make a comparison, man, to be honest. All I've ever had, as far as Axial goes, is this dead bull. This is my first scale crawler. And when I first got into it, I was thinking that I wasn't gonna enjoy it that much at all. But to be honest, I, I, I took the leap of faith, I traded my Mini Revo for this, and ever since, it's been like, what else can I do? What else can I put on this truck that it deserves to have on it? And it, it's really, really served me quite well. It's been a great little truck out on the trail. It's been a great truck in the snow. I've, my first official, 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 first official, oh see, I almost did it again. Take three, first official wenching scale or full size is done with that. It's getting me back into that customizing. I made my own grill for it and everything. The fender flares, well I bought the fender flares but I custom fit them. Next up I'd like to work on doing some of this interior. I'd like to do separate buckets for the driver and passenger side, leaving the console the same, not having to really mod around my gearbox or anything down, down inside of here, you know. Because you think, to put that, oh sorry. To put that, I gotta have the room to clear that gearbox when I wanna do my interior. So instead of doing a full interior, I'm just gonna half side it. Should be possible. Might redo the wiring too. Oh, one more little tip for you guys. Well, I'm just going on and on here. See this stuff here? This uh, wrapping that's around here? This is a. Uh, I, got, I don't know what you call it, conduit, wrapping wire conduit material or just a protective sheath that you put over it and it's just like Chinese finger trap material. It's really, really great, honestly. 
once you get it on there, you can zip tie, like use a tiny zip tie around the end to kind of make it nice and neat and tidy, which I haven't done there, but I have done right here. It'll protect your wires from getting scratched or poked or even broken like I've had happen once from sticks poking up and through in aggressive territory. So yeah, that's about that for now. Yesterday I did speak about taking a break from doing a daily vlog and honestly I don't I just couldn't picture my day without trying to record something, trying to get out and do something. It's just how my day is now, how it's become over the last year and a half since I started vlogging. And it just wouldn't feel right if I didn't have that same process to every single day. Now, yeah, maybe some of the days where there's less to vlog about out there, less things going on, maybe I could pick up on some stuff like some information or hot topics, trending topics, and give you guys my take on them. Mind you, we're not gonna go political. We're not gonna go religious. I won't bring that in on this channel. You guys deserve so much better than to hear about other people's problems in the world, including my own, which is why I'm trying to figure out a little bit more options for the vlog, bring some more variety. It is the random Andrew channel, so mainly being the random channel, it could be about anything, quite literally. I just don't want to do religion and politics because so many people have already fought about that. I don't want to see anything started on my channel over that, right? Right. So as far as taking a break goes, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. It, I could. I could just not record and not do anything to do with YouTube all day long or cameras or anything. But then I'd feel like I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. You know what I mean? They say you got to do what you want to do. Anyhow, thanks for watching guys. Yes, that little Traxxas on ice. Well, they're Traxxas trucks and they were on ice, but it wasn't Traxxas on ice. That does exist on my channel, go check it out. It is there. Yeah, we were scouting locations. There's your hint, Traxxas on ice too, coming soon. If you wanna be a part of it, you've got a Traxxas truck that you think would kick butt out there and you want your truck featured in Traxxas on ice too, Get a hold of me. I've told you guys how to do it before. You know how to do it. Thanks again for watching. I've already said that once. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like if you liked. And all that lovely stuff. Think positive. Stay positive. Keep a smile on your face. And we'll see you here tomorrow. Good night. Vlog over.